Hi guys, it's Molly. Today I'll be doing the Aussie book tag. I was tagged by Nock from Happy Comes First. She created the tag and I'm super excited because I don't know if you guys know, but I used to live in Australia when I was a kid and so this tag just really brings back a lot of great memories and I'm just super excited. Anyway, I'm gonna go into the first question. So the first one is Koala, a character you want to cuddle all day long. So recently I had one of my favorite quotes printed onto a pillow and it is Don't you ever do anything other than read by Kale Westfall. I can't remember if it's from Throne of Glass or Crown of Midnight but as you guys might know, Kale Westfall is my fictional husband and of course I want to cuddle him all day long and so since his name is on this pillow I'll get to do that now. <laughs> Number two, Vegemite. Oh my god, I miss Vegemite. A book you love that everyone else hates. So I have two books for this question. The first one I'm going to go with Graceling by Kristen Kashar and the second one Zodiac by Romina Russell. I don't think people, you know, really hate these books or anything but I don't think people love it and appreciate it as much as I do. This is a fantasy and this is a science fiction book and I don't know, I just really enjoy these books. I rated them like five stars. Okay, the next question. Socceroos, favorite fictional squad? I have to go with the Inner Circle from um, A Court of Mist and Fury. That squad is just ultimate right now. I don't have a copy of it because I lend it to my mom's friend, but oh my god, I just love everyone, all the members in the Inner Circle. Number four, Southern Cross. Most recent five star read. Oh gosh. I can't remember. But one of my recent um, five star reads would have to be Unwind by Neil Schusterman. Um, I think I read it like 4.6 or something, but that's close enough to a five star, and you guys really should read this book. Number five, Patriotism. Favorite book by an author from your country? Okay, uh, I'm gonna have to cheat for this one because I don't really read books from local authors. Mostly because they don't really write books that I want to read but I'm gonna go with an Australian author and I'm gonna go with Milena Marchetta um, who wrote the Lumetier Chronicles and also a lot of other contemporary books. To be honest, I've only read one book by her and it's the first book in the Lumetier Chronicles uh, which is Finnegan of the Rock and I really enjoyed it and I just know I'm gonna love her other books as well so I'm gonna go with Milena Marchetta. Next question is Echidna, a book you like to look at but it physically hurts to read. I have the perfect book for this. I'm gonna have to go with A Thousand Nights by E.K. Johnston. This cover is just freaking amazeballs, but I don't know why I can't get through the story. It's not my kind of read, so it was a little bit painful to get through, but the cover is just everything. Okay, next question. Ned Kelly, a book that is really grim but an iconic must read. Ah, oh, shoot, I don't have the book on this shelf. It's on my other shelf, but it's gonna have to be A Thousand Splendid Sons by, uh, what's his name? Khalid Hosseini. I think that that book is just really powerful. It made me cry, it made me emotional. It's talking about serious issues like how women in Afghanistan um, had to live and things like that. And I think everyone should read it. Number eight, Great Barrier Reef. A book that had you gaping in awe. I'll have to go with The Night Circus by Erin Morganson. This book is just magical with its description and just some of the tents at the circus just had me gaping in awe because it was just like, whoa, I really hope I get to see that in real life one day. And just, oh, this book is just magical. Number nine, Pavlova, a light and fluffy read that you can't help but love. Um, Okay, for this one, I'm gonna have to go to All the Boys I've Loved Before and P.S. I Still Love You. These two books are just so fluffy and so cute and I just get so gushy reading it, especially the second one, I think. And I just really can't wait to read the third book that's gonna come out next year. I think it's called uh, Always and Forever, Lara Jean. And yeah, really looking forward to it. And the final question is Milo, a genre or author that you reach for to get out of a reading slump. Okay, I'm gonna have to go with um, 
Sarah J Mass's books because I don't know the last time I nearly got into a reading slump I decided to reread the Assassin's Blade and even though it sort of made me get into another reading slump because it was just so emotional I feel like I would go back to high fantasy and to Sarah J Mass's books so yeah guys those are all the questions for the Aussie book tag thank you so much Ngoc for tagging me I had so much fun doing this tag I'm gonna be tagging three random people at the top of my head for this tag if you guys want to do it so first of all I'm gonna be tagging um, Sarah from Books for Tea. Second, I'm gonna tag JC from JC JC Reads. And third, I'm gonna tag Adnin from A Book on Her Lap. So I'm gonna tag these three people. You guys can do it if you want. Or if I didn't tag you but you also feel like doing this tag, go for it, guys. It's really fun. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!